Hi guys, welcome to Jeanette and Her Puzzles. Today I have a puzzle haul for you that has been a long time in the making because obviously I had so many things I had to record first that there's a lot of puzzles that got collected and obviously there was Christmas, there was my birthday, so yeah. <laughs> this is officially my largest puzzle haul so far. So as normally I'm gonna divide today's video into different sections. So I'm gonna have the puzzle that I bought, the puzzles that I exchanged and the puzzles that were gifted to me. So let's just start with the first one. This is a thousand piece puzzle by Clementoni and the title is Flamingo Dance. So the story about this puzzle is that one of the subscribers that is actually Slovenian sent me the link because they were selling puzzles in Lidl. They had, I think, six different designs from Clementoni. I definitely had to check them out. <laughs> Three of them were city, so I wasn't that interested. But this one immediately got my attention because it was completely pink and purpley and I just love those colors so I had to have it <laughs> and I went and bought it. I wanted to buy a world map as well that I had but unfortunately they already ran out by the time I got to the shop. So that's the first one. Now we are moving on to the exchange pile and I've got five puzzles here so I'm just gonna start with the first one. It's a thousand piece puzzle and the title of this one is Santa Claus. I'm not completely sure what the company is, I'm gonna try to find it. It's supposedly like a miniature puzzle but when I opened it the pieces are just like a normal size. One interesting thing about this puzzle is that I've never seen before. It actually has like the back sections marked with letters. It helps you do the puzzle I guess so you can just sort the pieces based on the letters and then when you're putting the puzzle together it's almost like doing eight puzzles instead of one big one and i exchanged this one for the 3d dolphin reef so yeah that's the first one the next exchange puzzle is a thousand piece puzzle from clementoni and the title of this one is four seasons so this puzzle has two missing pieces and i exchanged it for the mirage one that i had the 1500 piece one that had three missing pieces but what I decided now is that I'm gonna stop exchanging puzzles with missing pieces because I've got way too many puzzles and I don't need the ones that don't have all the pieces so I'm gonna either give them away or if no one's gonna want to take them I'm just gonna, you know, take them to a charity shop. The next puzzle on the list is a thousand piece puzzle by Innova Kids and the title of this one is Beautiful Paris. Quite a beautiful puzzle, I exchanged this one from the Ravensburger One Sweet Temptation. I actually really like it, it's a part of I think Audi's collection. I've seen that later when someone else sent me the link to more puzzles, you know. That's when people learn that you love puzzles, that everyone just sends you link to where you can get them. So I definitely like it, I love the background because it's almost like a gradient sky, so I think it's gonna be quite enjoyable to put together. The next one is a thousand piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Mediterranean Food. I think it's probably going to be quite easy to do because you've got so many specific colours on so many different spaces. I'm just not sure about the white pieces because I'm not sure how many of them are going to be, they're going to be completely blank. So I think this is the only thing that would make this puzzle more difficult. And I exchanged this one with the fairy tale magic one. The last exchange puzzle, it's a thousand piece puzzle by Clementoni and the title of this one is Mona Daisy. So as you can see, it's a Disney version of Mona Lisa. So when I saw the picture, I had to have this puzzle because it's just, it's brilliant. So I love it. Apparently all the pieces should be there, but the lady said she wasn't sure because she didn't finish it because it's too dark for her. So we are gonna have to find out when we are putting the puzzle together. And I've exchanged this puzzle with the Glenmore Haunting one, which is also very dark, but she said it's fine because she's gonna put it together with her son and apparently he loves mystery puzzles. So I'm sure they're gonna love it. So one funny story about this lady, actually, I've never seen her before. She's not one of my usual, you know, puzzle people. So just when we were talking about meeting up to do the exchange, she sent me a picture of my signed piece on another puzzle that she got, you know, it just made a circle around. So it was really fun to see that. And I think that's why everyone should always sign the last piece because then you could see the history of the puzzle and I think it would be really amazing if you know there was like 50 signed pieces on the puzzle so yeah guys start doing that if you're not doing it already okay so moving on to the gifted puzzles and I'm gonna start with a special puzzle because it's actually made in Slovenia 
and it's also handmade. So what happened with this puzzle is my mom works at the gym, right? And there's a lot of people coming in and she just started chatting to someone and they were like, yeah, actually my nephew is making puzzles. And my mom obviously was like, yeah, my daughter has a YouTube channel about puzzles and you know, we exchange contact. So they only have four designs out at the moment because they're literally like brand new company. Apparently the design that I chose is the hardest one out of the four, so. We're gonna see how difficult it is. And all of the puzzles are handmade, so they explained a little bit about the process of how they're doing it. It's really interesting because I didn't know that you can just, you know, make puzzles at home. So I have a question for you now. I talked to the guys and they said that I could make a video about them making puzzles, like how the handmade puzzles are made. If this is something you would be interested in to seeing, just write in the comments down below and I'm gonna arrange a video session with them. I forgot to mention it's a 126 piece puzzle by Puzzly Puzzly. So what their plan is, is basically they want to work with local artists and they're gonna create like a theme, I don't know, winter. And then they're gonna pick a few artists and all of them are gonna have to design something that has to do with winter for instance and then they're gonna have like themes going out i think it's a really good concept because they're gonna be helping local artists to get their work out so not many artists get to sell their work you know so i think this is a really great idea and i hope it's gonna blow up even though they're made in slovenia they're actually available to be bought in europe so i'm gonna put their details in the description box below so the next two puzzles I have for you were gifted to me by Woods Best and I got 15% discount code, which is Jeanette15. I'm gonna put all of their details in the description box below so you can, you know, check them out. And now I'm gonna show you the puzzles. So the first one is 326 pieces, which is size large. And the title of this one is Contrasting Color Challenge. So the reason why I like this puzzle is because it only has like two different shapes. So you can basically put the puzzle together however you want because everything is gonna fit into each other. So I think it's gonna be quite a challenge to put it together the right way. I forgot to mention that it's a wooden puzzle, but I think the puzzle company already tells you that, you know. But yeah, let me show you the second one. So this one is 759 pieces, which is size extra large. And the title of this one is Yin Yang. So I love Yin Yang, you know, I even have it tattooed on me. So I really liked it. They had different colors. I chose that one because I just love it plain black and white. And even though the shapes of the pieces weren't my favorite because this one has like Tai Chi poses, but the other ones had like flowers and stuff like that. And it's, it was more girly, I guess. But still, it was more important for me to have the picture that I want and the colors that I want than, you know, flowers. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. And the reason why I picked extra large is because it's probably gonna end up on my wall. <laughs> Most likely, 99% sure. <laughs> I love it, so yeah. It's gonna be a lovely addition to my home once I move. The next puzzle was gifted to me for my birthday and oh my God, it's the prettiest puzzle I've ever seen. I don't know, it's just everything about it makes me so happy. <laughs> and I actually picked it myself, to be honest, because when I saw it in the shop, I was like, oh my God, I have to have this puzzle. And then I got it, so I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> It's a thousand piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Jokul Serlon Iceland. I most definitely said that wrong, but just look at this picture. Come on, how pretty is it? It's just the gradient in the sky and then the gradient in the sand and the icebergs. Like everything about this puzzle just makes me so happy. And I really love it when the colors are so like, you know, popping out and bright. And I love pink in, in puzzles as well. Funnily enough, like I don't like to wear pink, but in puzzles, I love it. And I can't wait to do this puzzle. This also is probably gonna end up on my wall eventually. <laughs> so this is, as of today, my favorite puzzle of my entire puzzle collection. And now we are moving to the next three puzzles that have two things in common. So all of them are Harry Potter and all of them are 3D. So let me show you the first one. So the first one is Hogwarts Express and it's a wooden mechanical model. I think the company is Yugi's. I have honestly no idea what to expect. Like I've done two 3D wooden puzzles so far and it was an owl one and something else. Or was it just one? I'm not completely sure, but I've opened it obviously because I had to. <laughs> so you've got the wax and you've got the sandpaper. So this is gonna be really interesting and 
I have no idea how long it's gonna take me. I have no idea how hard it is to put it together. So I'm slightly worried and I also don't know where I'm gonna display it. So maybe this one's gonna have to wait until I move. But yeah, moving on to the next one. So the next two go hand in hand together because they're basically the part of the same collection and I think there's a total of three of them and I got two now. So they're basically parts of Hogwarts. So the first one I have is 875 pieces by Rubik Puzzle and the title of this one is Astronomy Tower and the other one I have is 850 pieces also by Rubik and the title of this one is Great Hall. As you can see they're huge <laughs> like honestly. So in the back it says how you put them together and then how you should display them to get like the actual Hogwarts crowns. So I'm really looking forward to doing these ones and I already opened that as well because you know that's what I do and they're really interesting they're like completely squishy like on a foamy thing. I'm actually slightly worried because they don't have like a picture to go with so what it says is that you have to do the puzzle like in 2D and then you have a map of how you're putting together to make it 3D. So this is definitely gonna be a challenge. <laughs> And I don't know which one I would start with and I think it would be fun to do in a video so you can see my struggles, you know. <laughs> so I'm adding 30 new puzzles to my collection today and oh my, like my room is overflown with puzzles. It's just every way you turn, it's just puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. So yeah, if you want to see all the puzzles that I've got, just watch this video up next. Bye!